do shit, bro. And we got the power to put them in office, and we got the power to put them out of office. So I'm just saying, I still hold my registration card in Meridian. My mama said, well, your registration card, you going to come down here and vote? I'm like, I don't know who running. Cause it all depends on who running. If I know you, if I like it, I might come down there. But I tell you, I'm going to bring my big ass down there and vote. I don't care if it, I don't care if it count or if it don't count. I'm going to vote because at the end of the day, that's one thing that we hold. We can vote whoever we want in that bit. Meridian will never grow long if we got motherfucker like this in office. I told the old motherfucker I get the fuck out of here. See, I might need to run for office. And I want y'all to vote me in. I'm going to be dead on the city council. I'm talking about, man, what the fuck is you talking about? We ain't finna do that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? See, I'll be too real up there on the council. With WTOK recalling my motherfucking ass. When I get through telling your motherfucking ass what I want you to know, I'm going to say lie at WBR Radio with your boy Big Grady. Who's next? I ain't telling nobody got time for this bullshit. All this political pl political talk and all correct pronunciation. Fuck all that, man. It's either real or it's not. You either want it or you don't. And we got to come together and see what we going to do, man. Meridian got to grow. I'm 38 years old, man. Billy Silent was the sheriff before I even graduated from high school, and I done been through three different colleges and graduated, got a family now working in Birmingham, Alabama, and these motherfuckers still down here, still down there in office. They got to go, man. They got to go. Man, time has changed, but time will never change with these motherfuckers with them thought process still running shit down there. Can you imagine this motherfucker right here, Billy Silent, said all this bullshit about he don't know this and he don't know that, trying to act like he don't know what the fuck going on, but you want to be the sheriff? First of all, and then think of this, all the murders that didn't happen down there in Meridian, under his motherfucking ass, and under whoever his boss is, if it's a black motherfucker, do you really think he give a fuck listening to this shit? I ain't saying if he do, if he don't, but listening to this shit, the perception don't look good right now. You know what I'm saying? They love that word in my job, the perception is. The perception is, well, fuck your perception, because your perception might not be the real reality of the shit, but... The perception could be reality if we got the fucking proof. You said this shit. So just think, people that didn't die, Jerome Hearn, all these folks that didn't die and they murdered haven't been solved yet, man. Do you think a motherfucker like Bill Asada really give a fuck if it's a young black male? I'm just saying, do you really think he give a fuck saying some shit like this on national TV back in 2003, man? And who is Bill Asada boss? And who is Bill Asada boss boss? All of them got bosses down that motherfucker. We need to find out who is the top. And if your ass holds some type of an elective position or seat, we need to find out who you are and we need to vote your ass out of there. You shouldn't be mad because you done made enough money. You can sit down and live good down there. I'm telling you right now, if you got your house paid for, your cars paid for, and you at least got $200,000 in the bank in Marie, Mississippi, nigga, you's a king down that bitch because ain't shit to do. Ain't shit to do. You can go out for a vacation every now and then and come back, but ain't really shit to do. You know what I'm saying? But it's fucked up. That motherfuckers thinking it's okay to not call you a nigger. That's disrespectful, but we can call you a nigger or a darky, and you should you should think we should respect that. This happened in 2003. These motherfuckers still alive. These motherfuckers still got children, and these motherfuckers' children probably got children. They kids might be between the age of 30 and 25, and they might got kids out here that's two and three years old, man. It's fucked up out here, man, but it's okay. Because until we get our big black ass up off our ass and go down here and vote, it really don't matter. And whatever happened to us needs to happen because we'll go out here and piss tents, go sit out here and get the same pair of Jordan that we had in the 5th grade, the 6th grade, the 7th grade, the 8th grade. Now we go out here buying the same damn pair of Jordans and we 25, 26, 27, 28 years old. I ain't knocking the sneaker heads. I ain't knocking none of that because I got Jordans. I like Jordans. I, I buy the ones I like. I don't give a damn what coming out this Saturday. If I don't like them, I don't like them. It's just a certain pair. I like the lemons. I like the lemon. If you see me with some jaws on my feet, they're going to be the lemons. Fuck the rest of them. But anyhow, I'm saying it, and I don't stand in no line. If we stand in line and get some pair of shoes, a pair of shoes, if we can pitch a tent outside a, a hip sport at 6 o'clock in the evening so we can be in line to 9 o'clock mo next morning, man, why we can't stand in line for a couple hours and vote people in here who really can change our life? And if we don't live to see it, our children have a better life. But it's not going to happen. With bullshit like this, with people in powerful ass position like sheriffs and judges and district attorneys and shit that's still in office running. You don't think they in cahoots with Bill Bo missing all that shit down there? You don't think that motherfucker probably go to the same church, go have coffee and lunch and all that shit together and talk about what the fuck they gonna do with these niggas? Man, it's real out here. And it's all on us. And we got to change this shit. This message to Marie in part three. Live on WBR Radio. We got to make a difference and this shit got to stop. WBR Radio, your boy be great. Mr. Underscore, you can motherfucking see me. Gone.